Good morning. Good morning. Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. Martial Arts. And Martial Arts. And then something, something else. I don't know. I don't breakfast burrito homemade salsa <laughs> guys this market is popping today there's a lot of people i like that i do but i don't you love being out with people you're a total socialite extrovert yeah i am <laughs> i like it and it's the farmer's market more people need to come to the farmer's market yeah fresh local stuff you know
One thing about the Phoenix Public Market Cafe, I love the door. I feel like that. It's so rustic and nice. It has that perfect sound. And there's beautiful elephant's food, which is also edible right next door. Nobody out here knows it's edible, but it is. <laughs> Babe, looks like you got the makings of an incredible lunch here today, farmer's market fresh. Uh, yes. So we just got back from the farmer's market, and so now I'm going to make a kick-ass salad. What is this in your hair right here? This is really beautiful. Did you do that? Yeah, it's a braid. I love it. Thank it's you. so sexy, babe. <laughs> Wow, this looks amazing. Thank you. Thanks for your amazing, oh my God. <laughs> Thanks for your amazing culinary abilities. I tried. What do we have here? I know one of the kind of lettuces is escarole or escarole because we got it from the farmer's market. Yes. What else do we have inside here? We also have cucumbers, tomatoes. I can see purple kale in there. Yes, and then uh, green kale, dinosaur kale. Avocado. Avocado, mushrooms. Did you put like pine nuts in here or is that just the mushrooms diced stuff? No, it's not pine nuts, it's cauliflower. Oh, I like how you dice up the cauliflower, it's really cool. And people don't realize that when you eat cauliflower, you're actually eating flowers. Yeah, which is really cool, I just learned that. And then I uh, love raspberries, they're like my favorite food in the whole world, so we're doing some raspberries and blueberries and that's gonna be in there as well. Oh, you're putting your fruit in there? I'm gonna eat it like this. <laughs> then we also have some cheese, um, some vegan cheese that I'm obsessed with and some olives. Everybody who's not vegan always says that vegan cheese is horrible because they went into the grocery store and bought crappy vegan cheese that probably wasn't even vegan because the soy and almond ones are actually not vegan. Yeah. What brand is this? The, the Dayo kind. This is provolone and pepper jack? Yeah. D-A-I-Y-A. -A. Yeah. So good. I, the uh, provolone is my favorite. Some of the other kinds that are really good is like the Kite Hill but it's like three times the cost. Like it's $10 for like a, an inhale amount of cheese. Yeah, it is really good though. So if you want to like experiment with cheese and you want to spend a little extra, then definitely go for Kite Hill because it's so good. I did a video on vegan cheese that has hundreds of thousands of views. I'll put down in the description. Check it out. But the Daya Pepper Jack is my favorite. Yeah. So we're going to put some things on the salad. So you, you kind of jumped the gun a little. I did? Hmm. I'm going to put some olives in mine. Okay. So in my salad, I'm going to put flaxseed. Would you like some flaxseed? Sure. And what is it that's in flaxseed that's good for me that um, you could get from fish, but if you don't want to kill the fish, you can do flaxseed. Yeah. Omega-3 uh, fatty acids. Yeah. And they're also going to put moringa powder. Hit me. Oh, I asked for it. And we were discussing that we probably should bring like vitamins and minerals like multivitamins in a jar and capsules with us yeah. on our woofing trip coming up yeah because we don't know how much or what the quality of food we'll be eating will be so we want to like pop a vitamin every day but we decided not to do that because the whole vitamin industry is self-regulated you have no idea if you're actually getting yeah anything high quality in there so we're going to dehydrate some moringa leaves and yep. then capsulize our own moringa powder so Pretty much just taking this, putting it in small capsules so we can just take it real quick. Okay. And then B, B vitamin capsules, which I mean, that's pretty much all we need because there's so much stuff in Moringa powder that it gives you everything you need. So. Like Moringa powder is its own vitamin and supplement. Yeah. But the vitamin B12 we're going to take with us as well. Yeah. So for my dressing, I'm going to put balsamic vinegar on it because that's the kind of dressing I like. And mm -hmm. so is he. Balsamic vinegar. Yeah. How come we don't know how to make our own vinegar? I think one day we will. I think we'll learn, and when we become self-sufficient at our own place, we'll have the ability to make our own vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so I want to ask you a question. Um, we have found some uh, farms that are going to host us in Spain. Yes, we have. We're going back and forth, and um, it's not like, you know, you can get 100% on these farms because they're a family, so you can just email Cortan with them and make sure that you're keeping up the dialogue. Yeah. We got a Portugal farm they're really excited about <clears throat> set up, and we have two different farms in Spain that we're talking with and trying to get it uh, hammered down. Yeah. So that we're pretty much got all of our wolfing covered for May and June. Mm -hmm. And now July, 
which country are we planning on going to in July? We're gonna go to France. Right. Mm -hmm. So last night <clears throat> we just stayed up, not too late, um, emailing a bunch of Spain families, and then this morning we got like three emails back, so we're like, yay! So that was you're, really exciting. You're working on your Espanol. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just gonna do French instead, because I love, <laughs> I love that language, that or Italian, so. You will learn some Espanol because you'll be immersed in of Spain for a month. Yeah, which I'm really excited about, but I would rather learn French. <laughs> My kind of language, I But you took Spanish in, in high school. Yeah. Good. I didn't really pay attention, but. What? Okay. Let's be real. <laughs> I've been wanting to work on my Spanish for a long time, so mm -hmm. I got your back. Yeah. Always. <laughs> so we have to start um, finding some families and farms in, uh, in France mm -hmm. for July. Yeah. And folks out there who don't know what we're doing, we're actually preparing ourselves to do a, a wolfing trip. We're going to volunteer on farms for a year. Mm -hmm. And who knows where it's going to take us, but we're going to cover at least a daily vlog on our channels of the entire experience. And folks out there who go below to the description can help us with the content by donating whatever you can afford to our Patreon or our GoFundMe campaigns down below. Check it out! And all the money we get from the GoFundMe and the Patreon will go toward us producing and bringing forth the high quality content of gardening, growing food, vegan food to you guys. Yep. Yeah. How are we doing on uh, selling everything that we own? We're doing really good. So right now we've set, sold a lot of little things. So now we're on a mission to sell the couch. We're selling our table. Um, so we're not gonna have furniture here soon. Um, selling um, some digital equipment like a computer and a camera. Yeah, iPads, just old stuff that we don't need anymore. And then sell the car mm -hmm. in March and then just do our bicycle for the last month we're here. Pretty exciting guys. I'm super excited. This is so gonna nice. be fun. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys liked today's video. Hope you guys have the chance to make a delicious, awesome salad, like the one that we made today. From locally grown stuff. Yeah, it's all local. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys next time.